In recent years, technology in the form of computers, mobile phones and wearables has become a vital part of our lives. Elon Musk's ambitious project of connecting the human brain to the internet to help control machines is almost at the stage of being released for commercial use. More prominently, it's known as Neuralink. What if you could learn new skills and abilities just by downloading or transferring a file into your brain? Or you're on vacation in a small village in Norway, but you don't speak Norwegian? Imagine if you could download the data or a program into your own brain and converse with locals. And additionally, what if you could later remember every moment of that trip in perfect detail? Elon Musk says that you will eventually be able to store your memories as a backup and then download them into a robot body. Neuralink is a brain machine interface, or BMI, that can read and write into our brains. But brain machine interfaces are not new. They have been used to treat various patients of Parkinson's disease, dystonia, OCD, restore hearing and even epilepsy. What Neuralink brings to the table is its improvements to the existing technology. The current state-of-the-art BMIs have almost 100 wires connecting to the brain. It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Our brain contains vast arrays of neurons that respond to electrical signals sent from one place to another. This happens whenever we think, act or do anything which involves our brain in some way. When these neurons fire, an electromagnetic field exists. So, Neuralink's device will transmit this analogue data with thousands of small threads acting as electrodes implanted within our brains. These analogue signals will then be converted to digital data which will then be interpreted by digital devices. Similarly, digital signals can be converted into analogue signals and then sent to the brain. The thread implants will be one one-tenth thinner than a human hair and will be implanted by a robot to prevent any injuries or pain. The procedure will be done without anaesthesia as it's not required. The immediate goal of Neuralink is to develop BMI for medical use to help people with severe spinal cord damage. Further applications of Neuralink and, by extension, BMI can treat depression, chronic pain, tinnitus and restore vision amongst a multitude of other things. In order to understand how Neuralink works, you must understand that your brain sends information to different parts of your body using neurons. These neurons in your brain connect with each other to form a large network and communicate using chemical signals. These are called neurotransmitters. The reaction generates an electric field and you can record these reactions by placing electrodes nearby. These electrodes can then understand the electrical signal in your brain and translate them into an algorithm that a machine can read. This way, Neuralink will be able to read what you are thinking and find a way for you to talk to machines without even opening your mouth. So, no more calling out OK Google or Alexa. The goal of the N1 chip is to record and stimulate electrical spikes inside your brain. You'll also be able to learn different skills using a dedicated app. Musk has said that the procedure is complex and beyond the capabilities of even skilled human hands. This is why Neuralink will be using its specially developed robots to carry out the quick and precise insertion of the device into the cortex. The company said it will work in accordance with the regulations by health ministries while carrying out the operation to ensure that it is safe. The Neuralink robot will insert the module into your brain using a microscope and needles the size of 24 microns. A micron is one millionth of a metre. These needles are so small that you can't easily spot them with the naked eye. The robot has been designed to ensure that the device is inserted into the brain without touching any veins or arteries. Each electrode will be inserted specifically bypassing any kind of blood vessel. 
The installation procedure could take up to two hours, according to Musk, and the person could also be under partial anesthesia during the process. The bottom line is, how will the government, especially schools or universities, respond to this? Maybe this is the end of schools as we know them. Well, I'm not a fan of our education system, as you know. If BMI is the future of humanity, this technology will help us in many ways. But, as I said before, every invention or creation affects human behaviour. Technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master. I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. Um, so, If you have enjoyed this video and you're inspired by what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Let's change the world together.